Hi everyone, my name is Eileen Wu. I am an Olympic weightlifting coach and welcome to my reaction of the 2019 CrossFit Games men's clean event. So here we go. Saxon Pantrick, 345. Feet under the bar, again still a race to get the hands on barbell. Pulls him forward a little bit more now, but he's strong enough to pull it through. Nicely done. Let's look at this technically. Feet under the bar. Doesn't look where his feet are relative to the bar. Hands on bar. Looks straight ahead. Tightens up kind of. Knees come in on the pickup. Pulls him forward very, very slightly though, not much. I like that the weight is coming back a little bit on his feet and that his back angle is staying the same. Would like the knees to come out as he picks up the barbell because it just reduces the amount of space your knees have to come back. And funny enough, with your feet very straight ahead, knees very straight ahead, one of the things I see common is what you see right now is that in order for the barbell to pass your knees, the knees have to slack off and almost lock up. And, and it creates this separation between you and the barbell, which you see right here. And you see the back caved a little bit, starting to see the bend a little bit to keep the barbell tight to him because the knees came back too much. So now he's too far back from the barbell. And from here, he's already starting to scoop under. I don't love the chicken neck or the not tight back. He does a great job of the shrug high pull though. And he does a great job of getting momentum and tempo on the barbell. But as you can see here on the pickup, he does receive it a little bit forward. Still strong enough that it's good. He kept it close enough that it didn't matter. Good job at 345, but it will matter later on. Adrian Munweiler here at 345. A little bit of a struggle. He doesn't get a lot of tempo on the barbell, but he does a good job of keeping it close. But notice with each rep with Adrian Munweiler that he gets a little less height on the bar because he has to stand a little more early with the barbell because it pulls him forward and he has to early arm bend it so much. Let's watch it slow. So right here off the floor, does the rolling thing. Don't love the rolling thing. Here we go. Takes a kind of a second to get tight, but comes up aggressively off the floor. Barbell's pulling him forward. He's already struggling to keep it close. Barbell's coming forward. Now you're starting to see separation. Butt's coming up even more. Knees come back, but the weight does come back a little bit on the foot, which I appreciate. Now you see separation between him and the barbell even more so. You start to see that concave back. The bar is forward, so you see, you see this versus seeing this. He's standing up with a barbell instead of seeing you're at the bar, at above the knees, and you're coming up here. You're seeing this, this position, because he's trying to keep it close to him which he does do, and he pulls it into him so he gets a decent extension position right here, does the shrug and pull under. He's so goddamn strong. James Newberry, 345, feet under the bar, takes a breath, hands on bar, doesn't tighten up, goes to pull it, barely gets enough height. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Nice, got the lift. Obviously he didn't get a lot of height there, but he made the lift, so let's talk about it. Feet under the bar, takes a breath, hands on bar, kind of narrow, doesn't really tighten up, tightens up as he stands, which I don't love, pulls him slightly forward at the beginning, not a, not a lot, but the butt's coming up faster than the rest of his torso. Now you see separation with him and the barbell. Now you see arm bend because he's he needs to keep it close. You see the struggle, you see the aggressive arm bend, you see him come forward, roll on the foot early because of that separation that happened a second ago. Again, more arm bend, more roll over on the foot. Jumps way early, jumps here as opposed to here. And because of that, he barely gets enough height and he's struggling to get it, get it, get it. I know I already saw it, but I still want him to get it. And so he barely gets it because he lost separation between him and the barbell earlier around above the knee. James Newberry from the side, pulls him forward a little bit off the floor. You can see him not get a lot of height on that barbell because it pulled him forward and that early arm bend and the separation right above the knee, but he fights for it and it pulls him up. Nicely done, James Newberry. Way to get it. 345, Jacob Hepner, chalked up his shirt. Love it, love green also. Feet on the bar, tighten up, tightens up. He doesn't get a lot of tempo on the barbell though, it's slow, and he should have had that. Struggle. Watch it one more time. He should have had that. I, I understand he, he received it low. Feet under the barbell. Doesn't look where his feet are relative to the barbell, okay. Hands on barbell. Here we go. Doesn't really get tight, but the initial pull off the floor isn't bad. 
Knees slack off a little bit here, but the weight's towards his heels, okay. A little bit of a bend here. He's starting to roll over early. You can see that. You can see his body move even forward a little bit early to meet the barbell because the barbell's in front of him because of what happened about, above the knees. And from here, he's jumped. He got a decent shrug and high pull. I think he, I think it was very slight. I think he, he, he obviously caught it a little bit early. He obviously doesn't have the huge leg power to be able to stand up with it. Slightly slow with the turnover. Elbows a little more down than would have helped him. And I think it actually caught him off guard a little bit too, in terms of the timing. Instead of pulling under the whole weight, it looked more like a, a slight pull and pray. Hope I get enough so that when it came down on him, he wasn't quite ready, so he wasn't tight enough, so he couldn't catch that bounce and come up solid, which you can get away with if you have a lot of leg strength, which it doesn't look like um, he has for a clean at 345. But I'm bummed for you that you didn't get that lift, Jacob Hebner. So close, so close. Scott Panchik, 345, feet on the bar, hands on bar, doesn't look for his feet are, okay, doesn't really tighten up, starts on his heels again. I love how he gives tempo on the barbell. He does a good job of keeping it close, the butt comes up first, but he does a great job of putting tempo on that barbell. And when you put tempo on that barbell, slower at the beginning, fast at the end, with that little pop, that speed, it buys you so much height. Let's watch it slow. Pulls him forward off the start, even rocks him off a little off balance, more so than we saw in his earlier lifts. But he's coming back on his feet here. I would like him to be more on his feet here, but okay. A little bit of separation with him and the barbell. You see a lot of separation with him and the barbell right here about above the knee. You see the arm bend to keep the barbell close. But he also uses that arm bend to keep it close, but then to pull it into him, which isn't ideal, but at least it's close to him. It also isn't ideal because look, he's at this position and he's already look forward on his toes and looking like he's about to jump. But he does a good job of the shrug high pull. So while he does jump here instead of here, he does enough with the shrug high pull and he had enough tempo on that barbell to get him his height. And then from here, he has enough legs. He was ready for the receive and stand. 345 made, Scott Panchik. 345, Goodmanson. Feet under the bar, hands on bar. Doesn't look where his feet are. Doesn't really tighten up, but it's smooth and it's relatively easy. Let's watch it slow. Hands on bar. Doesn't look straight ahead before he goes. Kinds of not really, but doesn't really tighten up. You can see it jolt him slightly forward. The back sock off just a touch. Pulls the knees back. Look how close the barbell is to him right here though. Jumps up and back. It obviously pulled him forward a little bit early because he jumps slightly, slightly early, but he does a good job with tempo. The bar is close enough to him. He does a decent job of the shrug high pull. At this weight, it doesn't matter for him. Here we go, Matt Frazier, 345. Feet under the bar, hands on bar. Notice feet under the bar is consistent. He doesn't really look for them, but it looks consistent to me. Hands on bar, he still does the thumb measuring thing. From here, tines up. Looks like it pulled him forward very, very slightly there on the toes, but he recovers very easily. Bar comes back with him, keeps it super close, gets that big shrug, big pull, pulls him under. Let's look at it slow. Feet under the bar, hands on bar from here, pulls the barbell up. Notice weight comes back, weight comes back. But here the weight should be coming back more and it looks like it's starting to pull him forward very slightly. See, you can see it here especially. Weight's a little bit more on the toes here. So instead of pulling the barbell up and going this way, from here it went like this and it looks like it pulled him forward just a little bit there. It's another reason why I think even though technically you could lift more with the stylistic butt come up than come under thing, but the problem with it becomes how much of the butt comes up and in the butt coming up, the weight on the foot will naturally go forward and you have to control that, right? So that's why with most people, like 99.9%, .9 I, I don't teach the butt up then come under because there's so many pieces that have to go into play to get it right. But if someone comes to me and they have that already, then absolutely let's keep that. But we have to be aware of things like the barbell pulling you forward, especially off the floor. So here it pulled him forward just a tiny, tiny little bit, but he recovers. He's tight on the barbell, bar is close to him and he's pushing back with his feet more. He recovers and he's pushing back a little bit more aggressively than he would have had it not done that. Barbell comes up, barbell comes up, barbell's close, and he recovered so well that look at this position. Looks just like it did at 335. He's solid, back is tight, core is tight, lats are pulled back, barbell's a little bit away from him, but not much. And from here, standing up with the barbell, weight very much solid on his feet, 
transitioning into that big jump extension. And so even though it pulled him forward slightly earlier, he adjusted. And that's what good athletes do, they adjust. And so notice that now he's here and he's ready for the jump just as he would have been had it not pulled him forward. And he follows that up again with that big shrug, big pull, gets him as much height as he can, pulls under on that barbell. Beautiful lift, Matt Frazier. Noles and feet under the bar, hands on bar. Pulls him forward off the start. Doesn't get a ton of height on it. Looks like he barely made, made that in terms of height. He caught it forward a little bit. Let's watch it slow. Doesn't get tight before he goes. Wait a little bit more on his heels. Barely looks straight ahead before he goes. Look, it pulls him forward right off the start, but he does a decent job keeping it close. Pulls his knees back, pulls his knees back. His knees slack off right here, which like we said earlier is common when you're starting with your feet so straight ahead and when you're starting with your knees so straight ahead. So his knees slack off here. Now you see separation with him and the barbell. You don't see a lot of bend to pull it in. He's relying on his lats maybe, but you do see him as a system. He's more pulled forward here and he's already looking to do the extent as opposed to here being in this position. So here, he's here. If you can see that difference, I'm kind of like leaned forward. And from here, he, he's like at this thigh area, he's sh shrugging and pulling and you can see him receive it forward and not get a ton of height on the barbell. Thanks for watching my reaction to this part of the 2019 CrossFit Games Men's Clean event. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe below. For any questions or comments, put them in the comments below. If you'd like to work with me, check me out at www.wulith.com. We'll have more of this reaction coming soon. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.